My name is Ryan Hardigan from Econ Technologies, the makers of ChronoSync and ChronoAgent. This is the first part in a three-part series on how to configure a sync with a ChronoAgent target. I'll be syncing a folder on a MacBook Pro with ChronoSync installed to an iMac with ChronoAgent installed. Both of the Macs are running OS X version 10.7.3. If you're using a different version of OS X, the steps may be slightly different for you. I've installed ChronoAgent on my iMac so I can sync files to it from my MacBook Pro running ChronoSync. By using ChronoAgent on my destination Mac, I can connect directly to it from my ChronoSync Mac without using file sharing. This ChronoAgent connection is faster, more secure, and offers more scheduling features such as automatic syncing when the ChronoAgent Mac joins the network. This screencast assumes you have already installed ChronoAgent on your Mac. If you don't have it installed, just download the DMG and run the install utility. This first screencast will deal with configuring ChronoAgent on the ChronoAgent Mac, so let's get started. I'll begin by opening the System Preferences and clicking the ChronoAgent icon. Click the padlock to make changes and enter your user account password. Let's start with the agent name. This is what will be shown when selecting the ChronoAgent as a target in the sync document. I'm going to leave the port number set to automatic so ChronoAgent will automatically choose an open port. If I wish to set the port manually, I can do so by selecting Manual from the pop-up. A username and password need to be created and entered. Make a note of the username and password you enter, as these will be needed later to configure ChronoSync to connect to the ChronoAgent. Now it's time to configure the options in the Advanced panel. These options are the encryption strength for secure connections, the ability to require all connections to be secure, and the ability to enable backwards compatibility with older versions of ChronoSync, which uses a less robust security protocol. If you're syncing over an open wireless connection, you should enable security so nobody can eavesdrop on the file transfers. With everything configured, switch back to the General Panel where the Start button becomes available. If something is missing, then the Start button won't be enabled. Click the Start button to start ChronoAgent, then switch to the Status Panel to check the status of ChronoAgent. With ChronoAgent running properly, it's time to close the System Preferences panel and switch to the ChronoSync Mac. Watch the next screencast in this three-part series where I configure Connection Profile on my ChronoSync Mac. 